Today, we're diving deep into the highly anticipated One UI 7.0 beta program. Samsung is about to unleash Android 15 on a select group of users, and we're here to break down everything you need to know. If you're a Samsung fan eager to try out the latest and greatest features before everyone else, you're in the right place. We're going to talk about which devices are likely to be included in the beta, but more importantly, which countries will be lucky enough to get their hands on it. Let's start with the devices. Samsung typically includes its latest flagships in the beta program. So we can expect the Galaxy S24 series, the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and the Galaxy Z Flip 6 to be at the forefront. Of course, we can't forget about the previous year's flagships. It's highly likely that devices from the 2022 and 2023 lineup will also be eligible for the beta. While it's less common, there's always a chance that Samsung might surprise us by including some mid-range devices in the beta program. This could open up the testing phase to a wider audience. Now let's talk about the countries that are likely to be part of the One UI 7.0 beta program. While Samsung hasn't officially confirmed anything yet, we can make some educated guesses based on previous beta programs. The countries that have historically been included in Samsung's beta programs are China, Germany, India, Korea, Poland, United States, United Kingdom. It's important to note that Samsung usually rolls out the beta program in phases. We expect Germany, Korea, and the United States to be the first countries to get their hands on one UI 7.0. The rest of the countries will likely have to wait a week or two. So is there any hope for other countries to be included in the beta program? Unfortunately, Samsung has been pretty consistent with its list of beta countries over the years. It's unlikely that we'll see any major changes this time around. To sum it up, we're expecting the One UI 7.0 beta program to include the latest Samsung flagships and potentially some mid-range devices. As for the countries, we can anticipate Germany, Korea, and United States to lead the way, followed by other countries shortly after. We'll be keeping a close eye on any official announcements from Samsung, so make sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. And don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra-wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan-favorite feature, a 16GB RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest this Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice raise prices across the board, or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops, 
This chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 ultra performance that rivals some Apple M series laptops. But wait, there's more. We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal flash storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFX 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFX 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFX 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So. What does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFX 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it. What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16 gigabytes RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next one guys, until then goodbye.